What's up, everybody? I'm Tucker, and welcome back. New year. Second week of the new year. But I just didn't do anything last week. Decided to take the week off to start the year. But now I'm back. Right at it for 2015. I do weird hand things. So this week, I wanted to talk about something that happened to me this very morning that I'm filming this. Thursday morning. So, I live at the apartment on campus at the University of Utah, little U, as we do here. And every once in a while, there's little maintenance things that have to happen to your room, like fix the air conditioning, check the fire alarm, stuff like that. And this morning, they came by to make the Ethernet port better in my room. Now, they had said they were going to come sometime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And that's what they say all the time. So you never really know when they're going to come. It's just kind of luck of the draw if you're there or not. And if you haven't been doing something when they come in. So real interesting, fun stuff there. But this morning when they came in, it was at like 9.30. And so I woke up to people opening the door to my room. Not the main apartment area, but literally just my personal room. And they just opened the door, coming in. I was like, oh, hey. They had, of course, knocked and stuff to see if I was there. But I was still asleep because the night before, I had finally decided to start watching Silicon Valley and stayed up till 4.45, 5. So I was kind of tired. But they came in and they're like, oh, hey, got to do some stuff. And I was just okay yeah sure because i was real tired i'm like four or five hours of sleep and so they came in and they were trying to do this stuff ethernet ports back here behind the tv they're trying to do it and i was just lying in my bed just wearing boxers and just color covered up in my blanket just like oh yeah uh huh okay cool nice all right and i was just thinking about it and it's a really weird system they have here. Because normally, out in the real world, you schedule for like someone to come and do that at a specific time. You'd show up, be, hey, welcome, do your thing. But here, it's just, they'll come by sometime. You may or may not be home. You may or may not be awake. Who knows? And so it just kind of feels weird when you think about it. And I literally just sat in bed, and I sat on my phone watching them do things for half an hour. And that just feels really weird. I don't, I don't know if anyone else thinks it's really weird. I feel like that's super weird. It's just not a scenario that I'd imagine to happen a lot outside of college. And it's just awkward, you know? But you can't be like angry at them for coming in because they're just doing their job. They're told, hey, come in, do this at this time. So they just come and do it. So I wasn't like mad at them for waking me up. I was just surprised and tired. They, they were nice people, though. They had some troubles with stuff because sometimes the Internet's real sketchy here. But they got it all sorted out and they were nice about it. And so that was good. Got it all fixed. But didn't get a ton of sleep because of it and I just didn't go back to bed for some reason I think it was even worse for my sister because she is spending the week here with me and she's sleeping on the couch out in the main room so they literally opened up the door and started sleeping on the couch so I'm sure that was a fun experience for her when they left she came in and I was like how was that she's like that was no that wasn't good I'm like well sorry so now she's asleep in my storage room, or was, because she didn't want to deal with them coming in again. That's probably the most weird, most weird, weirdest encounter with the staff that works on the building that I've had so far, I think. There were a few times last semester in the fall where I was home when they'd come in and do the fire alarm testing, they just walk in, they poke it, it start going off. They say, oh, it'll be stopping in a few minutes or so. 
and they'll just head out and they just leave it's like meh for another 45 seconds so it's like great cool guys thanks for making it all loud in here sometimes i wonder what they would do if they walked in on something like you know what do you do in that situation do they I'd assume they just leave, but I'm sure there's like one or two people who would just go on in, do their thing, and just leave like nothing happened. So that's kind of weird, too. That's not something I think people want to happen. So the way they do it here, or if you don't knock on the door, or if you don't answer the door when they knock, you just come in. I feel it could lead to some awkward things. And then sometimes I worry about the times when I'm not home and people come in and do things. How do they mess with my things? They arrange it, change it, hide things. I don't know. It just sometimes it makes me feel weird that people are coming and going from my home without me really knowing. But it's still, it's not that bad. I'm just paranoid sometimes. So let me know if you guys have had any weird experiences like that with room staff or if you think that's a weird situation like I do, is it, am I just overthinking it? Is it not that weird? I don't know. I think it is, but maybe you disagree. Let me know, comment below any experience you have or if you disagree with what I'm saying here. As always, be sure to like this video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, this year is going to be some pretty good stuff compared to last year. There are some things in Pipeworks that are going to be cool, probably. So, look forward to that sometime down the line. And until next week, be sure to avoid having people come into your room while you are asleep and not wearing time to close. Because it's weird.